827.94, T minus 13. I heard shows tomorrow or last night. I'm glad it will be out there as a mark of my abilities that need no excuses. My plan feels easier to pull off today. My death boat fits easily inside my best buy bag and my 38 fits into my shaver bag. I'm going to look totally inconspicuous in a greyhound or a taxi. Just another vacation traveler. After today's lesson with James, I've come to the conclusion he knows, Flo knows, and Devin knows. Last Tuesday, I finished my last conversation with Devin by saying goodbye. I'd never said that word to her before. I didn't even think about it until after I hung up the phone. I promised Israel I'd stop smoking in two weeks. How very cryptic and dry of me. Flo asked me what I wanted to get out of my work. While she really wanted me to elaborate on my answer when I said nothing, I couldn't explain that the only hope I have left in this world was that my loved ones have happy lives and that my body was never found. When Deb's mom told me that Devin would never get over it if I offed myself, she didn't realize she wouldn't have been talking to me if it hadn't been for Devin. For Devin was the only thing that kept me around for the last two and a half years. And just as she could not have a future with me, I could not have a future without her. She left me for something better, and I'm just doing the same.